Previously on Joe Berg's Hottest Breakfast Show. And joining us this morning is the former Springbok coach, Peter De Villiers. Peter, thanks uh, for your time. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's really a, a privilege for me to, to speak to your people. And you too, Pete. Yeah, Peter, let, we got to be brutally honest over this last weekend's performance by the Springboks. There's been a lot of uh, talk that the All Blacks were just in a different league. They played a, a, a competition completely uh, 100% style of rugby and that should be the reason why we were defeated so heavily surely we've got to look at it and say that we were actually very poor yeah you know what the people who say that the Orbis were in a different league uh, now must tell me in what league do we belong in um, if they in a different league and we in their league where should we belong my, my problem is um, rugby is 80 minutes that you see on a rugby field. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, 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 a output, outcome. Uh, the input is, 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 the, is the thing that we don't see. And um, I, I wonder what went in the Springbok side. Because what we saw there was, was, was not really what I will expect of, of, of our, our national side, you know. Peter, yeah, you bring up some very interesting points because if we look at it, is it a lack of leadership? Is it a lack of game plan? Um, did did um, uh, Do we lack the skill um, compared to the other teams? Or because we got sort of run over, we didn't have uh, an alternative game plan? Yeah, you know, I said to a lot of people, if, 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 our, if our mental preparation... Uh, it's not going to be spot on this week. Nothing to do with what's all going to happen on the field. So mental preparation is not going to be good. Um, we, uh, we're going to be in a, we're going to be in a, in a situation where we, uh, but I didn't expect that we would be that bad, you know. Um, the two things that, that counted against us is Argentina against the Oblix yes. and the last game of the Wallabies against the Oblix. That counted against us. So, so we didn't do too bad against Argentina and we drew and didn't do bad against the Wallabies. So we expected we expected not to do bad against the All Blacks. And what you what you join saying no 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 nothing in rugby um happen for you if you don't make it happen. And we didn't make anything happen for us on Saturday. Not a single a pillar of the game we send to stack all those pillars. Not a single pillar um went our way. Peter, if, uh, let, let's take it. I mean, you were a coach of this team. Um, I don't think you were fortunate to be in, in a position of, of such a, um, a heavy defeat. But at half time, when you're 37 nil down, what are you as the coach going and, and, and tell your players in the change room or what should have been said there? Uh, it must have been very difficult, but surely you've got to try and uh, change things around. You know you're not going to win, but you've got to try and limit the damage. Yeah, you know, how do you get to that point? Um, uh, we, 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 we sat around this weekend, we said to ourselves, how did we get the right thought to score a point? Um, in yeah. the modern game, uh, I mean, for the South African way of playing, sometimes very, very boring. You take away all the other stuff. You go there and you say to yourself, okay, we are, we are prepared for this game. Um, are we ready? If we're not ready, and we just have to fall back onto what we know best. And 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 if the hype of the game um, is out of the guys, if the excitement is gone, what is the structure that we want them to fall back on so that they can remain in control of, of, of some of the situations? Um, is, there, is there a few contests that we can win, that we want to focus on, we want to win? Then you fall back on those kind of focuses. What is the areas where we can have a mismatch over the scene? And then you and then you launch all your attacks of those mismatches. mismatches. Uh, I didn't see none of those things, you know. And I said two weeks ago, the Springboks are prepared, are, are prepared, but they're not ready. And then somebody asked me, "How do you know when a team is ready?" I said, "No, no, no, no. Any team, any person who needs to psychology, a psychologist, they're not ready for the world. So, a sports psychologist will always." an indication that your team is not ready. How, how far are we behind in terms of rush defence? I mean, we saw how successful the All Blacks were with that particular tactic, a new experience for some of our players. Physicality and intensity, are we not far behind in that area? 
You know what? We I think I think we're far behind in our in our in our preparation of 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 of, of, of going back to basics. You know, I don't think that we do understand basics properly. Um, basics in the rugby is not about it's not about the skill. That's a basic skill. Basics in the rugby is what did you determine as basics for your team? So whenever you say we come and go back to basics, you need to go to the things that you have determined with your team. That that, that 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 you want that you want to go 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 um, go work on. In our in my time, I we had only one basic, only one, and that is everybody's going to be honest. You know, if they don't make their tackles, they're not honest. If they late, they're not honest. If they screw with the ref, they're not honest. So, so you can help them with, uh, accountable for a lot of things if you if you install your own uh, basic. And 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 I'm telling you now, that basic will put everybody on the same level. Because every, if, you, if you talk about this is how we're going to defend, then some people you take out of the game. But if you tell them this is the reason why we defend, then everybody's on the same level. So now you can use your strength on defense to, to, to put people back. Some people will keep people, hold people up. Other people will just try and steal the ball. So everybody can do their own thing within the parallel that you have set for them to go down there. I can't see that there is a unified way of doing things at this moment. Um, I saw it against friends, uh, the, uh, the French, and um, I saw it against Argentina. That everybody goes out there, everybody wants to be the hero. Um, the best players are, are on the rugby field, definitely, but the best team are definitely not there. In a way, I feel sorry for Alistair Kutsia, I do. And, you know, if, if I think back to when you were coached, if you were fortunate in that you also had players in their positions that were the best in the world. And if you look at that Springbok team now, I don't think that is the case. Yeah, you know, you don't, you don't become the best in the world because the other guys aren't good enough. You become the best, you become the best in the world because you want to be the best in the world, you know? Um... You, you you become the best in the world because you want to be the best in the world. It's not because anything else. So, do they really want to be the best in the world, or do they just want to be there? Um, I don't know. <laughs> if you look at, at what happened in the, in, the, in the Super Super Rugby final, yes, uh, if, the, if the preparation, the mental preparation, were the same, then the result was expected. You know, if something else put them on a different level and how can how can we perform um above our abilities maybe then 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 we were then we have pride that we instilled in there. The worst the worst thing of this defeat is for me and for you and not for the team. Because we can't do anything about it but we also want to be proud of our team. They can do something about it. They don't do anything about it. And they expect us to be proud of them. And that is where, where I think it's a big it's a big gap, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. Harsh comments and, and, and very honest comments there, Peter. Final question, because uh, we've got to move on, and I'm sure you do as well. We've bounced back in the, uh, in the past from, from, from heavy defeats. Um, but psychologically, this has got to be incredibly bruising and very, very difficult for this team. Yeah, definitely. And um, knowing the, the, the South African public, do you really think that the people who, who bought the tickets in one hour... The, um, at Newland, do you really think they are they are uh, looking forward to the game, or do you think that they are looking for somebody to buy the tickets from them? And that is your problem. Yeah. That, that 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 the base of support that you have built up now in four and five games, you broke it down in one in one week. So that to me, that to me is the, is, the, is, the, is the worst part of it. And you can tell, you can tell, say that. Wow, well, it's not the coach. Um, yeah, it's not this. It's not that. The one thing is, as a unit, they didn't make us proud. They didn't instill any confidence from outside in them. And um, wow, well, if you are out there, you don't want to be associated with that team. So you rather, you rather don't want to give the the, the Catonians who will be all that. You don't want to give them the satisfaction uh, on that on that day. So you rather not going to the game. Yeah. All right, Peter, listen, thank you very, very much for your time. I'm sure there's going to be a tremendous amount of debate. As always, great to speak to you. All right, thanks. And um, uh, to all the listeners, you're at the right station. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks very much. There we go. Peter, Peter de Villiers. Thanks, Pete. Sure. Dilbert's hottest breakfast show. Sasha Martiningo. Andy Levy. John Wallen. Gwaneli Kuneni. Simon Hill. Weekdays from 6 to 9. Hot 91.9.